Welcome to another episode of Electro Technology and in today's job we are installing a lamppost on top of this concrete pylon. So watch on and see how we go about completing this job. Okay, this is an extension of a job that I started previously. So if you've watched the videos on the deck lighting, uh, this is an extension of that, where I had to run some lighting around the deck, uh, hooked it all up, and there was one light fitting that was still remaining. Well, this is that light fitting. We've now been brought back to finish it off. Uh, they've poured this concrete post, and we're going to put a lamp on top. It's a fairly simple process. There's not much to it, really. You're just connecting in your active neutral and earth into a termination strip and you're basically building the light post and bolting it down. So I'm going to go through this step by step and hopefully you'll get something from this and understand how it is, how easy it is to install a lamppost. So let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is we need to unpack the lamppost, get it all prepared and ready to go up really. And then we'll mark out the holes, drill the holes, mount it, terminate it, terminate before we mount it obviously, and that's it. So, let's see. This is why literacy is so important to electricians. Look at these instructions. Now luckily I know how to do this, but if this was my first time, I'd be reading through a lot of information here just to understand how to put this together. Okay, so I've unpacked the light fitting and I have this triangle piece here. This is actually a template for where my holes must go into the concrete. So I'm gonna get my rotary drill out and I'm gonna mark this out, drill it out for the bolts and get it all prepared and ready to go so that we can then just bolt it all down using some concrete screws. Okay, now we're at the point where we need to put all this together and basically what we'll do is we'll screw the post together. This is the point that goes at the very, very top and this cord goes down through the lamp post and connects into a termination point down at the bottom, which is where our cable coming out of our conduit will also terminate. The, each individual lamp has its own cabling coming out, which will also terminate into this top part here. So basically the way we do this is we'll take this, I'll mount the other two lamps to this part here. Then I can connect that up, mount that on, drop that down through the bottom, and then we'll be good to go. So that's what I'm gonna try and do now.
Okay, so we come across one little small problem, easy to fix, but the terminal strip here is a standard terminal strip, not a problem, but the cabling coming off the three lamps, they've already pressed on some crimp lugs, and normally that wouldn't be a problem. You just put that into a terminal strip and away you go. But we know that if we've got to add more than one cable, we can't just jam these three cables into one terminal point with crimp lugs on them because they can come loose. That is not as per Australian standard either. So I'm going to cut these crimp lugs off, re-strip these cables, and then twist them together correctly as per Australian standards, put this in into the terminal strip and away we go. There we go, you can see the terminations are in now. And there's no excess copper sticking out of the ends of the terminal strip, so that's perfect. We can now run that cable down through the center of the post and then join it all together. You will find sometimes the holes don't always line up perfectly. Um, these stuff are generally, you know, not made to the highest standard of quality. So you might have to wiggle things around and just muck around a little bit to try and get the screws into their set holes, uh, which I'm finding here with this one. It's not really lining up perfectly, but we'll do our best to get it on. A little tip for you, whenever you're finding screws aren't lining up the way you want them to, and you've got to put more than one screw in, in this case, I've got to put three around the cap of this light fitting. Only put the screws in a little way. Don't try putting them all the way and tightening them all up. If you put them, each screw in just a little bit, then you can maneuver the plate or whatever it is you're trying to line up around a little bit as you slowly do up each individual screw. And in this case, I'm having to use a really small screwdriver because there's not a lot of space between this screw and this lamp and my screwdriver literally doesn't fit. So I'm having to try and do it on an angle with a small screwdriver. It's a little bit di difficult, um, but a little bit of patience and we'll get it there. I'm actually having to use a flat blade screwdriver for this job because I just can't get any of my other screwdrivers in there. And this is just the right size that it will jam in and turn. So there you go.
a smart tip for you. Anytime you're doing any light, elevated light fitting, um, that might be a little bit difficult to get to the globes at a later point in time. Put the globes in before you finish doing the job. So I'm gonna go and chase up some globes, put the globes into here, and then just screw the caps on. They literally just go on with two screws, very easy. And then we'll be ready to actually mount this up onto the post. So I'm gonna go and find those light globes now. Now the caps here basically just go on with these tiny little thread pieces. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there we go. And these thread pieces get screwed into the main light fitting. And then these little, little nuts just sit over the top of them. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You could do it this way first. It's probably the easiest. Just put the nut in first and then it's gonna go through that little hole and into the light fitting itself. But you've gotta make sure that it is long enough on the other side for that to actually fit into the light. And that's how they go on, two per, per cap. And then they just have these ornamental pieces that sit on the top there. And just in this case, just a couple of plastic screws that go through the bottom. There we go, and that gets screwed onto the top, like that. Okay, so the lamp is now all put together and we're ready to mount it and wire it up. So here's my cabling here. Um, my terminal strip is just inside, it should connect. Be mindful whenever you're doing jobs like this, the conduit here, depending on what you're putting on, could be a bit long. You might have to trim that off. And if you do, you've got to be really careful. You use your conduit cutters and you basically just cut around. You don't cut all the way through, you just kind of cut around and then you can break that off and that will come free for you. This should not be too long, so this will be okay. So we can go ahead and terminate that into the terminal block, which is inside. When I'm mounting this, the light fitting did come with these. Now, this is what's called a starter bar. And the idea of this is when they poured the concrete, they would place this into the concrete using the triangle piece that I had at the beginning to mark out where the holes are gonna go. You basically sit those in, put it into the concrete, and that would hold it in place. And then it comes with a little ornate nut that would go on top and bolt this down. Now, I'm not doing that for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, if I was here when they were pouring this, maybe I could set it all out. You may not always have the opportunity to be here when, when that is happening. So I am using uh, these, these are called concrete screws. And they are basically just whopping big screws that screw into concrete and hold really fast. They're reusable, so I can take them out later on if I want to. And you know, what, maybe I'm doing a job that I need to put something on the concrete and take it off and then put it back on again. So they're quite handy. Um, and I'm not then reliant on making sure that my starter bars are in the exact right place. You know, when you put these things in, and this is only a small pedestal, but if you're on a bigger job, quite often you might put something in and maybe it gets bumped when they're pouring the concrete or whatever, um, and that can cause you problems later on. So if you can do things a little bit later, it might, might make your life a little bit easier, and Concrete Bolts definitely does that for this job. Now, when I do this, I will also put on uh, this little thing here. This is called a spring washer and it's a spring washer because it's got a little uh, cup in the washer and it's made out of spring steel, so it's always trying to push outwards. So when you take your concrete bolt, you put it through and you tighten it up, you're squashing down this washer and because it's forcing back, um, it basically locks it into place. Uh, we use spring washers quite a lot in anything we don't want to come apart. So I'm gonna have that and put that all on and away we go. Okay, you can see here, this is the terminal strip that I was referring to and we will connect the cable into here. And obviously we have our cabling. And if I test that with my volt stick, you can see that's live. So I'm going to go through my seven steps of isolation and I'm going to isolate that so that it's safe to work on. I will then terminate that in and we'll prop the lamppost up and we will then put in the concrete bolts.
always work your way around the, uh, the base of any fitting that you're putting together like this. So that way it just keeps everything centered and nothing gets skewed or tightened or pulled down because at the end of the day, you want this thing to sit level anyway. Um, you may have to pack it up if it's not level. This is pretty level, so it's good enough. But if it wasn't, I'd have to put something underneath here just to pack it up and level it all out. But if I keep going around to take my time, a little bit on each side, it'll be all right. There we go. One lamppost installed. All installed. It's working. Fantastic. That's it for this episode of Electro Technology on the Job. And I hope you've got something from this video. I hope you've learned something in this video. And if you have, of course, as always, please like, subscribe, all those sorts of things. And I'll see you next time on the job.